welcome back to my channel. It has been a while, let's just say. Um, sorry about that. I'm a bit shit at this whole YouTube thing, aren't I? Consistency is clearly not my forte. Um, there's a few reasons why and I've actually got a video filmed and a video I want to film and upload but I kind of felt it was weird to just suddenly upload after however long. Must be six weeks maybe since I last uploaded. Um, wow, it's hot today. I'm not sure this is the best day to film to be honest under lighting but I thought I would just um, do my makeup whilst chatting to you so I won't talk you through what I'm doing um, in terms of my makeup but I will link all of the products down below. I have recently been on holiday, we went to Cyprus for a week um, and I kind of had like a go-to look that I did every night so I thought I would probably do and I've kind of stuck with that look since I've been back to be honest, um, excuse these as well I'll address those in a second, um, yeah so I thought I would just kind of do my go-to summer tan makeup looks I've still got a little bit of a tan um, and then just chat to you guys and we can have a catch up basically because it's been forever and I've missed you and I literally just had to give myself a little pep talk before starting because I haven't done this in so long I actually felt quite nervous which is weird but anyway so I'm gonna get on with it it's weird not talking you through my makeup, so I've got to try and remember to not do that. Oh, right, these, yeah. Um, they look crazy now, but when I've got my makeup on, they will be fine. I've just basically done the um, Makeup Revolution eyebrow tint. I did it earlier this morning and peeled it off, so it's still quite dark. I actually prefer it on its second day. Um, but I won't look crazy once my face is on. <sighs> oh, my God. We were moaning we wanted summer. The UK has gone crazy for the sunshine. Yesterday it was 39 degrees. That's in London and I'm, a, you know, about an hour away from London. It was 37 degrees in Essex. So, oh, it was hot. I was going to film these videos yesterday and there is absolutely no way I could have done that. I literally would have melted. It's cooler today but it's still quite humid but I just really wanted to film I've been itching to do it since I've got back and I've not had a chance so I'm gonna shut up and get on with my makeup well I'm not gonna shut up because I'm gonna talk the whole way through it but you know this is a long intro I need to get on with it so I'm gonna start painting my face and um chat to you while I do it let's go where do I start so we went to Cyprus for a week it was lovely it was such a nice week, so relaxing, exactly what James and I needed um, to just chill out because we actually don't spend that much time together. Um, he is in retail so his shifts change all the time and um, don't necessarily always work with my days off so we see each other every week but sometimes it will only be for a day so it's nice to just have a full week together. I mean this serum does not want to come out. Um, it was nice to just have like a full week together and just chill out and sunbathe and just, you know, have proper chats that we perhaps wouldn't normally because life is busy and everything. So yeah, it was just really nice to get away, have a bit of fun in the sun. Um, so I'll talk to you about my holiday for a little bit first and then I'll explain about, you know, why I've not been on here as much. But um yeah, so we went for a week. We stayed in a place called Aquamare Hotel. No, Beach and Spa Hotel. It was really nice in such a good location. We were um, quite near the harbour. There was a bus right outside our house. Oh, our house. I live there now. Um, outside our hotel. And um, it was just so easy to use and get around. So we could hop on the bus and literally within five minutes we'd be down at the harbour which was lovely um we had dinner there one night we ate our body weight in ice cream um probably each day and we um also could then get boat trips so we did a couple of boat trips we did one that was a glass bottom boat bottom that was very essay yeah we did a glass bottom boat which you basically just got to go out for an hour and a half on the sea and there's a shipwreck in Paphos so you get to see that through the glass bottom which was really cool a little bit creepy um but yeah it was really cool to see that and then you got to stop off and swim in the sea for a bit which I am petrified of sharks so I never want to swim in the sea particularly where it's deep um but a few years ago mum and I went to 
Tenerife and we were on a boat trip and I got so seasick I felt absolutely horrendous I literally wrapped my head in my towel and slept on my mum's shoulder it was so bumpy and rough I just literally felt awful and the man said to me at the time the only way to get rid of seasick um, is by getting in the water like that really helps so I did that even though I was terrified that sharks gonna come and eat me um, and it really helped and it is such an amazing feeling that now I do it um, and I did get actually a bit seasick on the one as well because it's a glass bottom one so I was looking through the bottom whilst we were moving oh, god that was a bad move I felt really rough sorry if I'm talking really fast I just I don't want this video to be really long I'm also really excited to be filming again and I feel like I've got loads to tell you so I'm gonna breathe I'm gonna try and slow it down um yeah, so um, we got to do that basically and we went and swam in the sea which was lovely and that got rid of my seasick, thank goodness. And the other boat trip we did was like turtle watching. Oh my god, it was amazing. It was so much fun. Um, and that was like an evening one. So we got to um, obviously go and look for the turtles. They go at that time because that's when they come out for their dinner. So we got to go and see them. Um, eating their sea grass basically swimming about we saw quite a few none of them were like huge but then they also weren't small it was just so amazing to see them in their natural habitat obviously it's like so much nicer to see an animal in its natural habitat um so and that's the only excursions i like to do on holiday involving animals i wouldn't ever go to like a water park or anything that has sea life there and whatnot because it I just think it's cruel. Um, so yeah, we did that. And then the rest of the time we just chilled out at the beach or by the pool and we went out for dinner every night, right near where we stayed as well. Um, there was like a little complex, about five minute walk away. And it had about five different restaurants, I think, something like that. So we had that as an option each night as well. The food was lovely, the people were amazing, the weather was incredible. It was about 30, 31 each day. Um, it was quite humid actually, so any hotter I think it would have been too much. But um, yeah, it was just really nice to get away. So that's that. Obviously before holiday you have a uh, crap ton of stuff to do it's funny because like for a week of relaxation you have to have a week of stress before so i had no time to do any filming which is why i haven't obviously uploaded i do actually have a vlog uploaded james and i i can't even remember when it was it was a while ago went to margate for the day um i just really wanted to go and see what it was like basically and it was quite nice one day so we figured we would just go um for the day and i vlogged it and i haven't even edited that i've just not had a chance just everything's been busy work's been busy um i've been getting a lot of orders on etsy so i was doing that way before holiday um so yeah it was just crazy and obviously i earn money from both of those so those have to come first like obviously i have to go to work and if someone orders something from me i have to get the orders out so unfortunately this is what slacks when i get really busy which is a shame because this is my passion and I absolutely love... Oh, sorry, I just knocked you. A bit wobbly there. Um, I absolutely love YouTube. So hopefully one day I'll get to the stage where, um, you know, I can do this for a living. And that way I can put all my love and energy into this. But you never know, do you? Who knows what life has got planned for us. So anyway, yeah... So I do have a Margate vlog that I'm going to upload possibly after this video or after the video after the next one I'm filming. Wait, not the next video, the one after. Anyway, it'll be soon. Also, I've got quite a few subscribers um, or I've gained a few subscribers since I have been away. So I'm really sorry to all the new people that haven't had any new content since you've subscribed. It's coming, I promise. I'm back into the swing of things now which is nice so I'm gonna be trying to upload more regularly I have been slacking so yeah that's that what else um oh another thing that has put me off recording 
recording, filming, is um, this camera, I've said previously in vlogs and whatnot, that I basically think it's on its way out. It sometimes goes really blurry and I felt that the quality of my videos recently have been not as good and I didn't want to put out poor quality videos um, and it kind of just put me off filming a bit. So um, I was looking at getting a new camera but I can't afford to at the minute. I'm hoping to do it very soon so that qu the quality does improve. However, I've played around with my lighting and I actually think it helps. Ooh, does it help? Do I look better today? It's really hard to tell. Um, but I think it's a bit better. It looks more like natural daylight whereas um, before my ring light was far too close and my camera was actually sat in it that it affected my camera a bit whereas I've got my camera on a separate tripod and the ring light behind so I think that has helped. So let me know what you think in the comments whether you think it is um, better quality and lighting or if you think it's rubbish but yeah I'm hoping to get a new camera hopefully quite soon you know at some point because it bothers me not having good quality um, videos and when I first got this camera it was great and it's lasted me really well because I had it, had it for like two and a half years so you know it's kind of time for an upgrade anyway but we shall see what else did I want to talk to you about oh where my content is going so um I one of my favorite types of videos to film is uh first impressions particularly on foundations that's mainly what I've done on my channel to be honest I love testing out new foundations and new concealers for some reason. I don't know why, I just really love trying out new concealers. And I have noticed that also my most popular videos on my channel, apart from the one of James and I trying Swedish sweets, which is by far the most <laughs> viewed one on my channel, which is funny, I don't know why. Um, but you should go check that out if you haven't because yeah it's quite a fun video and we did an american one as well which i actually think is funnier but not as many people have watched it um so you should check that out too but yeah generally all of my first impressions on different foundations do really well on my channel and i really love filming them so i think i'm gonna do like a whole month of testing foundations out basically i'm gonna try and do two uploads a week oh oh it's all right i thought i knocked you again i just knocked my ring light that's fine um it's going to take me a little while to build up so I've got a few videos ahead so that I can continue to do two videos a week. So I might do one a week for the next couple of weeks just to give me a chance to get ahead. And then I'm hoping to do, yeah, two videos a week, trying a different foundation. Um, I obviously do my first impression when I put it on. I do a flash test. I wear it for the day. I tell you what I think. Um... I don't know if you've seen them before or not, the ones I've done. Sorry, I know you can only see like half my head, but I was reaching for something. Um, but yeah, I just really love filming them and I love trying new foundations. So it's a win-win for me and you guys seem to enjoy it as well. I'm also going to be doing like a mixture of, um, you know, high-end, mid-range and then drugstore. So if there are any foundations that you particularly want me to try out and test before you go ahead and buy them um let me know in the comments and you know on my future videos i upload because i'll read them although my youtube is funny and doesn't always give me notifications but i'm gonna have to like log on separately and make sure i look for them because yeah i don't know why it does that silly thing but never mind um yeah just comment down below and let me know which foundations you really want me to test out and give a review on and I will do that you know providing it's not like a hundred pound foundation because you know, I can't afford that but yeah so that's what I'm going to be doing I'm going to say like a month of it because then it can be you know like I don't know I don't know what I'm trying to say here just a month of testing out you know it's like a themed month that's what I'm trying to say so I hope you have all been well sorry for neglecting you all let me know how you're all doing down in the comments it would be nice to actually chat to you guys because i don't get an awful lot of comments on my videos so it is nice when i get a comment because i get to talk to you all so yeah i may also do the um occasional vlog on my channel as well because i do really enjoy vlogging and i want to get 
a lot braver when it comes to vlogging in public but it just really freaks me out I don't know why I need to like not let it get to me but I'm always like oh people can hear what I'm saying and what if I say something wrong or my words don't come out right like here if I get in a jumble I can pause and then like get my words out properly and I can just edit that bit out whereas if there's loads of people around me I'm like oh my god they just heard me say something I don't know I shouldn't care to be honest because who cares what people think of you really but you know I just am a bit self-conscious of it like I don't even let mum be in the house whilst I'm filming my videos bless her she gets sent out or I try and time it that um she you know try and do it for a time when she's not here um so I need to yeah get over it a bit and just get on with it because I really enjoy vlogging and sort of one of my favorite content to watch is vlogs really and first impressions so you know it's nice to create the content that you enjoy watching so wow man I've had to shut the windows because it's always flipping noisy in fact I think I can hear someone cutting their grass but I don't think you'll be able to hear it because it's kind of muffled for me um and it is hot in here let me tell you Woo! So the next video I want to film is um, like a holiday haul basically. I really wanted to film it before I went away but I just did not get a chance. So I did like a big shop on a few different websites and I popped in and I just got lots of little bits for holiday and I feel like I found some really good bargains um, and some really lovely pieces. So. I just want to share that with you so that will probably be my next video I mean I'm filming it after this but it will probably be the next video I upload after this as well um, because I just want to get it out there ready so that you have still got time to buy the stuff for summer if you happen to like it so yeah but I'm gonna I won't it won't be a try on haul so make sure you follow my Instagram, I'll link it, pop it on the screen now um, because that's where I'm uploading, I'm currently uploading um, all of my pictures from holiday of my different outfits and I tag them all and everything so yeah, even whilst I was on holiday I didn't even upload to Instagram Instagram? Oh we've got a new social media platform now, it's called Instagram um, Instagram because I just really wanted to enjoy the holiday and just fully de-stress and not worry about um, being consistent with my posting on there either so I figured I would just drive everyone mad when I'm home and post you know loads of holiday pictures even though I've been back for three weeks but yeah never mind the makeup I did on holiday was generally super simple and easy like this pretty much this I might mix up you know my transition shade and I might not always put a shimmer on the lid or something but oh I'm clumsy but I would generally always um do the same kind of look a couple of nights I wore lashes I think I only wore falsies once or twice actually something like that but then I thought oh do you know what I can't be bothered I just want nice somewhat natural or well not natural but simple glowy bronzed makeup i still took forever to get ready usually i do my makeup quite quickly as well but for some reason it took me forever on holiday i think it's because i also had to pretty much wash my hair every single day which just it's just a faff isn't it to dry your hair and then style it on the first night um or our first proper night after being there for a full day um i decided to wash my hair and then i quit rough dried it i thought oh i'll leave the rest to air dry that'll look nice um <laughs> was i wrong i looked like monica from friends it was so humid my hair went ridiculously frizzy i mean it can go frizzy sometimes anyway if i don't dry it properly but i figured because it was hot it was um it would dry my hair quickly so it would be fine but because we'd only been there for a day I obviously didn't realize how humid it was that night wow I mean I have put a few pictures on my Instagram it's when I'm in my um like navy blue navy blue play suit and um I mean I still put the pictures up there but my hair looks crazy and it wasn't even 
that bad in those pictures. By the time we got home, I had like full on hair out here. It was mental. Oh, it feels nice. I feel like I've caught up with all my friends now. That's horrible being away for this long. And sorry I just spoke at like 100 miles an hour. But I wanted to make sure I said everything while I remembered it. I'll probably end this video and then in a minute think, oh bugger, I meant to say that, but never mind. I got a nice tan on holiday and it's flipping well faded now, which is absolutely devastating because, you know, I've not been back that long. Well, three weeks. But um, literally the minute you get back, your tan fades, doesn't it? Which is very sad. I pilled loads this year as well, which... I never do and I didn't burn because I was really careful with sun protection. I didn't want to burn. I made sure I stayed topped up and I would put it on like every time I came out the water and every hour or whatever. But I still peeled and I was moisturising and everything. I was really good this time. Usually I'm quite rubbish with skincare in terms of moisturising afterwards. And this time I was proper hot on it. And did it bloody work? No, but I didn't. So this was generally my go-to lip colour every night, however, um, on holiday, and it has been my everyday lip colour since I've been back. But um, I did occasionally have, a, or one night I think, had a bright orange lipstick and another night I went for just a nude. Um, but most of the time I just like a corally kind of sheen, slightly glossy lipstick. So I actually went for the... Um, Chloe Lewis lipstick in Typically Me, which I didn't really like when I first got it, but now for holiday I love it and every day. So I always did just like a nude liner and a corally nude lip, so. I figured I would put this one on and show you. You do have to build it up, but it's quite nice. I just love the colour and it's really moisturising. Did I tell you it's the shade Typically Me? I can't remember, but it's the shade Typically Me. Mm, and that's it. This is pretty much what I did every day on holiday. I just love the super bronzed glowy, nice and easy, because when you've got a tan, it's so much easier to do your makeup, don't you think? Like, it's just so much, you can just whack stuff on and it, it's great because you've got tan but um yeah so this was my kind of everyday go-to look and has been since i've been back holiday makeup look it was so nice to catch up with you guys and kind of just tell you all my news and all this random crap that's going on in my head um and just yeah catch up with you i'm hoping to now get back on the weekly uploads and then twice a weekly eventually um so don't forget to follow me on instagram so you can see my holiday pictures and outfits and um, subscribe if you haven't already so you can see my holiday haul because i'm super excited to upload that and comment down below any foundations that you want me to do first impressions on because i'm going to be kind of buying those over the next week ready to get filming so thank you so much for watching I hope you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up if you did and I will see you very soon.